Thank you very much for your attention. And uh, yes, I would like to give a few introductions. Additionally, I'm an interdisciplinary archaeologist. I have been studied biology. Now I'm doing my PhD in geography. And what we try to find out is to how did the ancient or the priesthood navigation influence the development of the advanced civilizations in the antiquity. And before I start my presentation, I would like to show you the introduction of our movie, what we are showing tomorrow. I hope at the same time with a little bit less confusion about the time change. But this is all <laughs> normal on the open sea. And in this first few pictures, they will last about one and a half minutes, you can already experience how seaworthy this at least 14,000 years old ship technology was. I have to start the right movie. The good weather files from Hamburg six days after the storm, because we had just a tiny satellite telephone and we could not, in this strong weather condition, download the newest weather data. But this drawing can still give you an impression how huge this low pressure area was. It has an, it's, it edges were on, on Newfoundland and it reached over the whole North American Ocean till the Azores and we were almost in the center of this cyclone. And the guys from Hamburg told us, listen, you have to go south, Each sailing craft into an old Egyptian one. Based after 18 years doing experimental archaeology, we put the mast more in front of the boat. We introduced a Ruderrast system, I call it in German Ruderrast. It's typical for the fifth dynasty in Egypt uh, to compensate the loss of our stern. And with this preparations, with this changes, we were able after five days again to set sail. And this was really astonishing for all of us, all, not only for me. We could set sail again and we could, or we could, re, uh, we could transform our Abora 3A in an Manurable Abora 3B, because we could even go across to the wind again. And this was a huge success. Here is a chart when we had this accident about 880 miles short in front of the Azores. And here, in this time, we repaired our boat. We faced a huge eddy who pushed us southerly. This was the first moment when we set sail. And here, in this short piece, we were able to fix all new lee boards. And then you can see. How, how close we could sail against, at least across to the wind.